guys, it's Jensa. As I said in a previous video, we are going to talk about one of my favorite things to pay for and get done, and unfortunately it's very expensive. Um, I very much love tattoos, and tattoos have a special meaning to me. I think that you can't get a tattoo just because you're pressured to do so. I do on occasion kind of put the thought in Ramias's mind, but it's not something you want to harp on a lot. Tattoos should have a personal meaning to you, and that sounds cruel or whatnot, but I think that tattoos can be pretty therapeutic. I got ta my first tattoo when I was 21 or 22, so I've been tattooed for almost a decade now. I was in college and I finally just up and decided, you know what, I really want to get a tattoo. And I have several, you've probably seen a couple in the pictures or in um, videos in the past, like the ones on my wrists, and I'm a person that believes in balance. So I got my first one on my left leg, so I eventually got one on my right leg. <laughs> and same with my wrists. My left leg, there's a picture of it here. And it is an Ankh, which is the Egyptian symbol to represent life. And then the kanji on the inside stands for perseverance. It goes back to something that my parents have always tried to instill in each of us kids, and that's to persevere through life. So that's the very first one I ever got. I absolutely love it. I'm planning to eventually add on to it and turn it into a sleeve slash sock, depending on the terminology you want to use. I also have one on my right leg. I technically have two on my right leg, but I consider it one. The top one, which is a picture of it here. is of two hearts that are intertwined. It's based on this ring that I wear on my right hand. My dad has his ring with him and my mom has her ring as well and it's a Valentine's Day present that we all have from before Ramias and I started dating and it was a promise for me to always be the best daughter that I can and so the tattoo also represents my dad's favorite color, my mom's favorite color, and my favorite color. My mom loves blue, my dad loves red, other than camo. <laughs> if camo were a color, that would probably be, probably be my dad's favorite color. And it takes blue and red to make purple, and that happens to be my favorite color. Underneath that tattoo is one of my newer tattoos, but you can see a picture of it here. And it's from one of my favorite childhood Disney movies. It's in honor of my eldest brother who was murdered. We both used to watch Disney's animated version of Jungle Book together. And the song that it comes from, The Bare Necessities, is something that my brother George lived to the fullest in his life. And he just believed if you're a good person genuinely then the things you need to get by in life will come your way so I had to do that to honor him I'm also considering adding more onto that leg as an honor of my brother Joe who is a cancer survivor and something for my brother Dennis I'm not 100% sure what to do maybe a pair of groomers shears or a dog's paw because he is an animal lover in the extreme. He's a groomer. He is also a vet tech for surgery at a shelter where he lives in Baltimore and he just loves what he does. So I want to honor all my siblings and do so rightly and carry on the fact that my family, I love them and they are part of what's made me strong. My largest tattoo I have is the one on my back, and here's a picture of it.
This is another tattoo that I got done in two sessions. The largest of it, the Clotta symbol with the bear paw, was my engagement present that I got after Vermias and I got engaged. And the bear paw is his favorite color and represents him and his life and how he always has my back. And I love that it's big, it's a huge statement, and it just tells the world, this is my husband, this is my love. The kanji that you see there on the right side, the one means daughter, I believe, and the other one on the left means wife. Eventually this tattoo will be added on to as well so that I can eventually include children, which will be a little bit ways down the road. And then of course there's the ones that my students see the most and ask me questions about the most, and that's the ones on my wrists. I have a lot of words on my body, but that's fine with me. My left wrist should be familiar, and here's a picture of it. This is part of where the name of our channel came to mind for me. Anamkara, as we said in our first videos, it's Gaelic for soulmate. And I got this shortly after Ramias and I were married for a year. And it's on the left side of my body, it's closest to my heart. So I wanted him to be closest to where most people believe the soul rests. And he's my soulmate, so it's only fitting that I have that. And then on the other side, my right wrist, here's a picture of it. That comes from the title of my favorite song by a European metal band named Delane. It's called Control the Storm, and I'm going to put a link to the video below. I absolutely love this band and I love this song. Funny thing is, I posted a picture of the tattoo up on the band's Facebook page a couple years ago and explained the methodology and my mind behind it. I put it on my right hand because I'm right hand dom I'm right hand dominant and I do control my own storm referring to my bipolar which I've mentioned in a previous video and probably will in subsequent videos. And I use my hand to control the storm by writing and writing is something I love to do it's one of the things I love to teach the most and it's just an integral part of my life so I control my own inner storms by writing and I put this up on Delane's Facebook page and what's funny when a couple years later when Ramias and I went to a Delane concert the lead singer, Charlotte, recognized the tattoo and immediately was like, oh, you're the writer. And I'm like, oh my God, she knows who I am. And to have that connectivity and that appreciation understood by the person who sings the song means so much to me. And yet at the same time, I stole a little bit of Ramias' thunder, unfortunately. <laughs> He very much adores Charlotte and her singing and the band. He's the one that actually got me into Delane. So I think it's only fitting that I stole his thunder. I, that sounds so wrong. Uh, not fitting, but it's interesting that I stole his thunder. And he was actually quite excited that she recognized who I was as well. So in my opinion, you've got to express yourself in some way. I express myself mostly through writing, but also through tattoos, and I plan on getting more in the future. So what do you guys think? Do you think tattoos are something that should be just for fun, or should it be something that means something to you? Continue the, content, the conversation for the content down in the tile section below, and please also, this is something we haven't asked people to do but we'll be asking in future videos please like comment and subscribe we're trying to grow our channel and we do hope to put out a video pretty much every day we're for the moment not saying exactly every day but that's about what it's been trend wise and I hope to keep that trend so if you guys would like to see more from us and you have something you would like us to discuss go ahead and put it down in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later much love